Do you like learning stuff about the Middle Ages? <laughs> well, let me rephrase that. Do you like the Middle Ages? Nobody likes learning. Do you play Minecraft? Would you like to watch a Minecraft tutorial based on the fact that I'm gonna tell you here in this video? No? Well, damn it. Welcome to a quick lesson regarding medieval townhouses. Imagine living in a medieval town as a regular citizen. What would your house look like? Well, it would most likely be timber-framed with two floors. On the ground floor, you'd practice your profession and possibly have a shop area for your customers. And alternatively or additionally, you'd keep some livestock in there. Far superior to our modern homes today, imagine always having your own personal goat milk dispenser just a few meters away. Amazing! The second floor, so the one which is not on the ground level, would be used for living. Fun fact, the second floor often had an overhang which had text extra and even was forbidden in some towns. These laws, though widely ignored by the common folk and rarely enforced, existed because buildings would get dangerously close to one another. You could walk some streets and barely see the sky. This decreased air circulation and increased the risk of fire spreading. If you had a lot of money, or you wanted to appear like you had a lot of money, you'd have a big hallway. The bigger the hallway, the more money you'd have to have. Sounds weird, but it kind of makes sense. Every guest's first impression of your private rooms would be setting foot into your hallway, and if that was a grand view, well, the first impression would be perfect. In addition to a kitchen and a chamber to sleep in, you'd have the most important room of them all. A ball pit with a slide and balls made of sleep. The living room. This was usually the only room with walls completely decorated with wooden paneling. In the middle of the room, you'd have a heavy wooden table with chairs surrounding it, and alongside the walls, you'd find benches and chests with cushions to sit on. The living room was also the only heatable room, without counting the fireplace in the kitchen, and sometimes even the only room with windows facing to the street, which by the way used brown or green glass until around the 14th century, and mostly white glass after that. For heating, you'd have an oven in the wall between the living room and the kitchen, which could only be accessed from the kitchen. This way, whenever you had visitors, the oven could be taken care of by somebody else in the kitchen while you took care of your guests in your living room. If you were lucky enough to live in the 15th century, you'd even have your own latrine, which is a very, very extremely basic kind of a toilet. And somebody had to clean that. On the exterior of the second floor, you'd have a pergola, so a recessed balcony-like part with a stairwell leading down into your courtyard or to the street. Well, and that's it. Now, if you want to check out a neat Minecraft townhouse tutorial for a house that fits this description, then head over to Grammel's channel. He's one of the best builders I have ever known. Back in the day, he built on my old server, Kargith, and now he has his own channel. So in order to get to his video, click the link right here. Seriously, click the link. Nothing's gonna happen here. No fan art, no social media links, no vidme page, nothing. Here, I'll make things easier for you. There we go.